Elmhurst once hosted a peculiar but renowned resort that promised healthy living through natural remedies and physical fitness. Let's dig deeper into the history of Dr. Henry Lindlar's sanitarium on St. Charles Road. I'm Dan Lund, curator of collections at the Elmhurst History Museum, and you're watching Elmhurst History in Focus. Dr. Henry Lindlar was a German immigrant who embraced the practices of naturopathic medicine, which preached healing through methods such as exercise, fresh air, and a vegetarian diet, as well as more dubious approaches like hydrotherapy, homeopathy, and manipulation. He opened a private practice in Chicago and wrote extensively about the nature care philosophy. And in 1914, he purchased eight acres of the former Lathrop Estate, south of St. Charles Road in Elmhurst. At this site between Cottage Hill and Prospect Avenues, he opened Linlar's Health Resort, a place away from the bustle of the city where patients could receive his nature care treatments in a bucolic country setting. The property included a central administration building at the former estate house, an annex with rooms for patients, and a small city of bungalows and tents for use in the summer months. The large wooded grounds of the site provided plenty of room for sports, exercise, and exposure to nature. Patients came from all over the world to be treated at Henry Lindlar Sanitarium. One of the most famous visitors was Eugene Debs, a five-time socialist candidate for president of the United States. Debs was admitted to the sanitarium in 1922 and would make several more visits to the resort to be treated for heart disease. While in Elmhurst, he struck up a strong friendship with renowned poet Carl Sandburg, who lived just a few blocks away on South York Street. Debs would pass away at the sanitarium in October 1926. Dr. Lindlar himself died in Chicago in 1924. His son Victor followed in his father's footsteps and managed the sanitarium in Elmhurst until 1928. At that time, he and most of the resort staff decamped for Florida and opened a new sanitarium in the warmer climate. Following the sudden closure of the resort, the land in Elmhurst was sold off to real estate developers. It is estimated that more than 80,000 people were treated at the sanitarium while it was open in Elmhurst. While some parts of the sanitarium survived into the 1980s, like this annex on Eggleston Avenue, time has moved on, and today there is no trace of the curious health sanitarium left at the site on St. Charles Road. Thanks for joining us for this Elmhurst History webcast. Check out our website at elmhursthistory.org for more information.